Hey guys, before we get into the video and everything, if you have questions about the game, I encourage you to join the Software Inc. Discord, as well as if you have questions about anything from myself, you can leave a comment. I will get back to you and respond to you as soon as I can, which will usually be 24 hours max. And if I'm not doing anything and I see it pop up on my phone, then I will get back to you like literally ASAP. Uh, the other thing is, also in the video, um, money funneling, I say fondling, all throughout the video, and I honestly could not tell you why. Hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys later. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video of Software Inc. And today we're going to cover the accounting tips that is under taxes, your offshore account, and a lot of the problems that have risen in the last recent updates that make your heat level go up. All right, taxes. Taxes. Everybody hates doing taxes. I absolutely hate doing taxes, and I'm an adult and everything. But here in Software Inc. for exotic software, we made a whopping $68.9 million in 2003. Our operational costs were $51 million. Our depreciation is $1.9. And a little bit of our investments and our balance that we came out with, that we that's the overall income that we made in the year. Um, the, my 10% tax that you're supposed to pay was 1.5, but through optimization using the tax team and the tax report, we brought it down to 770000 which it doesn't take long. I have for the accounting, I actually have two accounting teams now, but we have accounts payable and the accounting team both at, uh, well, looks like to me only one of them has 21. Accounts payable must have been a newer team I was going to add people to so I could do other stuff and get things done quicker. But 21 people, about $212,000 in salaries, which if, if you're successful in the game, that, uh, that goes by pretty quick. If you're new to the game and you're just starting out and you have a tax report, you can set your leader or your founder to have the skills necessary for the ability to do the tax report. I mean, that, that's a lot easier. Your founder can do just about everything starting out, whereas you don't need to hire that many people starting out. In fact, my recommendation was your founder and one developer. So under the accounting tab, which is just down here in finance with these little coins and everything, we have taxes, the offshore account, and procurement. I am procuring silver again. Actually, right now, we are in daytime operations. That may or may not get done now. But I've never really gotten any copper. I've never bought any gold. Just because these two seem to always do really bad. The game seems to really favor silver. For the most part and as i can see it's actually starting to go down which might be an indication that we need to sell and do something else but each time we sell the heat goes up and let me tell you what in the most recent updates and everything if your workers or anybody in security anybody in your company comes downstairs like for me i keep everything downstairs and I used to keep it all over in this room. Well, somebody saw it and reported it to the Fed. So this was up to like 80% one day. And I was like, holy shit. So I moved it all over here and I put it behind a double door in which I know people don't go in here besides maintenance. But I have to, I put these lights in here for the purpose of this video. But normally there, this is just a dark room. Maintenance stays out of there. Nobody goes in there. So they don't ever have a reason speaking of. Somebody just like totally enters the sleep. Wow, it's crazy. So we have actually finally completed this procurement, which I said it. I chose the silver. They procured it. Now here I am. Now this is actually where it charges you. Boom. Now we have another thing is silver. And each time uh, that you buy these, they age. And the more they age, the more this number will go up. Obviously, since silver is on a downfall, we are actually going down in how much they are worth which is rough, uh, totally rough right there. So we'll have to sell all of that. But when you sell these bars, which in our case, click on them and hit delete. And you come through here. Well, you know, in our case, we'll just delete them all for that matter. So we can DDoS somebody. And I, I just, boom. So now we have $12 million in the offshore account. It's crazy. So we could technically go through and uh, we could really hit somebody with that stuff. You could do anything with this money. You can money fondle it, which it will return back to your bank account and everything. And the tax team will deal with it and you won't have to pay taxes on that. Um, but your heat does go up from that. 
and you can do sev several little things with it. Let's see here. You know what? I'll do some procuring of copper, which we'll have those two set there, and we have our money fondling. Use money from the offshore account for various actions. Uh, I try not to use it that much because uh, when people make formal complaints or they quit or whatever, or they just keep bothering you about, I need a raise, I need this, I need that, you can use this to pay them off and get rid of them completely, and they won't go to the news agency and leave some negative review on you. Well, I'll be honest with you, I was going to DDoS somebody for literally the first time ever on this video, and these are the only three options it gives me, which none of them are even that great active users, zero. This is the only thing we could hit, which is an RPG, and we're not even in the RPG business yet. I have no software in that. But don't get me wrong, Cord Corp, I was looking at them specifically for um, the research they are doing over here. Which it says, launch this, do something, but, oh well, I guess it's espionage. Ooh. Ooh, let's see here, that's it, we can't do anything with like... 2003? Come on now, guys. Hardware system 3D? Alright, let's do 3D. Oh, yeah, wow, man, that really went up to 83%. Jesus. What did that even do? Did nothing that I see. Alright, well, it's been a couple of days in game, and I honestly could not tell you what that did besides just take my money. Alright, well, uh, oh shit, we can't even do anything at all with that. Oh yeah, that's because this number will have to go down before we can select anything. Alright, might as well just mon money fondle it the rest of the way. Which, oh, that's really going to make the heat go up too. So we're going to take 12 million and try to slide it back into our, uh, our account. Alright, well, if you guys went on to enjoy this video and everything, and if you have questions, you can leave them in the comments and I will get back to you within 24 hours. And if you did enjoy the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Adarika, and I will see you guys next time in another video. Testify.